Now, if you're releasing commercial themes, you'll likely want to give your users complete flexibility when it comes to colors. However, if you're an agency or a designer, you probably want to lock down those colors and restrict clients from going too wild and potentially destroying any branding you've created in your theme, specifically with colors, because you don't want this to happen. Oh my gosh, what the... So let's dive in and see what's going on here. So if we check out the heading, we can see that a wild pink color has been selected on the text. Now it's not coming from the color palette, it's actually coming from a custom color. So first we want to get rid of that. So I'm going to clear the custom color, but the user can still select a custom color. So let's get rid of that in our theme.json file. So go to your theme.json file and under the settings, add a new property for color. Now this property is an object of properties or settings if you like, and one of them being custom, which by default is set to true. So I'll add custom and I'll set this to false. Now save the file and then go back to the site and refresh the page. And after refreshing the page, selecting any headings or text, you'll see that we can no longer add custom colors, which is the one thing we've now removed. However, the default colors are still selectable. So to remove those, go back to your theme.json file and within the color property, set the default palette property to false, which is by default set to true. Save the file, return back to the site and refresh the page. And in the color section, you'll notice that we can no longer select colors. However, the background color can still be changed and custom gradients and default gradient palettes are still available. To remove these gradients, go back to the theme.json file and under the color property, add the default gradients property and set this to false. Now save the file and when we return back to the site and refresh the page, the background option remains, but the default palette is now gone. However, users can still add custom gradients. So to remove the custom gradients, go back to the theme.json file again, this time, under the color property, add the custom gradients property and set this to false. I'll save the file, go back to the site, and refresh the page, and the text no longer has any attributes for colors or gradients. However, you may still want to give your client some flexibility. In that case, you can add your own custom palette. Now this can be done quite easily by going back to the theme.json file and again under the color property section, add a palette property. Now this property is an array that takes an object for each color and the requirement for each color in the palette, you'll need to have color and a value. And this can be a specific CSS named color or a hexadecimal value. You'll need a name, which will be used as the label in various places in the back end, and a slug, which is essentially a lowercase version of the name used for referencing throughout the logic in the theme.json file, as well as the back end. For example, let's add a color to the palette. I'm gonna add color. This is gonna be the hexadecimal value 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, which is black. So I'm gonna add the name black and add the slug black in lowercase. So after saving these changes, go back to the site and refresh the page. You'll see that the custom palette has been applied. So when you select text, only one color black is available. Now I'll go ahead and add more colors under the palette property in my theme.json file. And I can add as many or as few as I like, depending on how much flexibility or restriction you want to give to your clients. So after adding my custom palette colors and saving the file, I can go back to the site and refresh the page. Now my colors only show a limited palette. Now one important thing to note here is that if you're an administrator of the site, you can still access the global styles and add custom colors to the color palette. However, content editors cannot add colors to the global palette or change the default settings in the block editor. So this method effectively prevents editors from using unauthorized colors, which is essential if you're trying to maintain consistency in branding and avoid any wild color deviations from your design. So as always, if you found this useful, you can show your appreciation by hitting the like button. And for more quick tips like this, don't forget to subscribe.